Hey guys, it's Di and I wanted to do a video vlog about Natalie and kind of a five month update. We haven't done one of these before so this is going to be my first attempt at it. But I really, really like the idea of doing these because I think it would be nice to look back and see where your little one was at at a certain point in time. And I've also really enjoyed watching them as well. So I thought it would be a great way to connect with other moms and um, something to look back on. So this is Natalie. She is just now turning five months. She's like a day past her five month birth date. And um, she is kind of a tiny baby comparatively on the scale. She's generally around the 15th to 25th percentile. Her four month appointment, she was 12 pounds. And I believe she was like 23 inches, but don't quote me on that. I can't remember the inches. But poundage wise, she's kind of a little sprout. She's um, always been small on the scale. Whenever I was pregnant, they had me going into maternal fetal medicine because my first daughter was quite a big baby and they couldn't figure out why Natalie was so small. And so it kind of had them worried. But then towards the end of my pregnancy and then after she arrived, they decided, well, we just think that she is meant to be a small baby. So um, she was a six pound, 11 ounce baby when she arrived. And then she's slowly been gaining weight ever since. And she did have a bunch of eating issues. The first couple months she was here, we had problems with her not wanting to eat at one point and I was really worried that she was going to have to go to the hospital or something because around Christmas she just basically stopped eating and it just, it was a combination of she didn't want to eat and it just wouldn't go down. So after that, the doctor put us on soy formula, he had us putting rice in her bottle and he put us on Prilosec and the Prilosec seemed to help initially and it was kind of my goal that I wanted her to not be on it long term if at all possible. So after it seemed like she was doing better, we were able to wean her off the Prilosec and then started her on a formula that was easier to digest that was a regular formula, not soy. And then after we did those things, we were also able to take the rice cereal out of our bottle. And so now I'm happy to say that she can woof down six ounces of a regular formula and um, she eats it just fine. In fact, she may be showing you. Yep, okay, great. She's going to go ahead and eat during this vlog. But anyways, so we had all those eating issues in the beginning, so I couldn't even begin to think about vlogging or doing anything extra because I was adjusting to having two kids, which is totally different, and then also just, you know, worried about what was going to happen as far as why was she so small, was there something wrong. So things have definitely gotten a lot better now that she doesn't have the eating issues like she did. She's still kind of a maybe slightly pickier eater than her older sister, but I just think that, you know, she's meant to be a little bit smaller and she's maybe just opinionated. Yes? Do you have opinions? Do you have opinions and you, and you know what you want? Get that off your face. I would imagine that now at five months, we haven't gone to the doctor since she was four months old, but she was 12 pounds at four months old. So I'd say she's probably at least 13 pounds by now. She can wear, this is a six month onesie, and she can wear the three to six month items, but then she still fits in three month old pants. So like in Carter, she still wears three month old clothing. I can still fit her in three month onesies too, but I've just chosen to upsize her because I want to use our clothing. I'm tired of looking at the same outfits. And she still can wear a size one diaper, but uh, the new box of diapers that I just got are size twos. So we're getting ready to upsize in those as well. And she is rolling over. She actually started that, it felt like it was late for me because I didn't realize it until after the fact, but my first daughter was a big baby and she was really kind of just ahead of the curve on everything. I, I didn't really know it at the time because it was a first time mom. So then when Natalie wasn't doing things at the same time that Isabella did, I was I got worried again, but I found out it was just the normal range when they're doing, supposed to do stuff. So she started rolling over probably around three and a half months, four months old, and she actually started doing, I guess usually they're supposed to do stomach to back first, and she actually started doing back to tummy. So she started rolling over back to tummy and she will sleep that way. I of course always still put her down on her back, but a lot of times I'll come over and find her asleep on her tummy. 
We do use the Angel Care Monitor, which I have a review on and I would highly recommend. We really, really love our Angel Care Monitors. I use them with both the girls and they're really, really great. So that has provided peace of mind since she is rolling over on her tummy and she's sleeping on her tummy because, well actually last night we had a number of alarms and I don't think they were false alarms because we have the double pad version where she was just in such a deep sleep that I, you know, I think that is what caused the alarm to go off. So, it's always been a little bit stuffy and kind of wheezy, but the doctor said that she should just grow out of that. So, I'm just having him look at her every time that she goes in to make sure we're staying on top of it. And then, she really likes sitting up. I don't know if she'll be an early sitter or not. We'll, we'll see, I guess. But, she really likes being in a sitting position. And she goes to daycare two mornings. Oh, yuckies. No one wants to see that. That's probably been there the whole time, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry. But um, she goes to daycare two mornings from like 8 a.m. to noon. And that's while Big Sissy goes to classes. I do toddler classes with her sister. And we get all kinds of nice artwork back from daycare. So um, I really like that. And so it seems like it's a good atmosphere. And other than that, she's started with her jumperoo uh, around four months, and she really likes the jumperoo. And has just started trying to work things into her mouth to try to teeth on them. But the coordination doesn't seem to quite be there yet. She kind of will miss her mouth and like bonk herself in her head. So I'll give you a little bit of a room tour of Natalie's room, since this is our first Natalie vlog. And we will show you around. So we're just waiting to see how big she's going to get because she's a tiny little squirt right now. So I don't really notice it until I'm out and I, I have her, um, you know, like sitting on my lap and people are like amazed, like she's holding her head up so well. I'm like, well, yeah, she's five months old. And people are like, oh my gosh, I thought she was just a few months old. So I don't really notice it, how tiny she is until we're out somewhere. Um, or you know if people stop me and ask me how old she is and then they say something to the effect of how tiny she is but just like right now at home she just seems like normal baby size to me because I'm used to having a small baby now so where are you going? where are you going? let's do a little room tour okay? can we do a room tour? oh and so, so we will show you Natalie's room real quick this is her little zebra lamp and her angel care monitor, which we really, really like. And then this is her bed. We use a breathable bumper and then don't allow any blankets or anything like that in their bed until they're like... Well, Isabella honestly just got them a few months ago and she's almost two. So for right now, Natalie just has her little bed and it's got... We do it a jungle animal theme in her room. So she just has this like safari theme print on her on her sheets and then these are her curtains with her little zebra print valance up there and I didn't obviously clean her room at all before I took this video with her glider with her little giraffe picture and then this is her dresser area and I had the letters and the bow holder custom made by cute kid creations she does absolutely fantastic work. I had stuff done for Isabella's room as well, and I really, really love it. So these are part of Natalie's newborn pictures. I really, really like those. And then she's also got her little hamper over here. And again, I didn't even flip up the top of the hamper. So these are all of Natalie's bows, and they kind of get traded around in between like her sister's bows and um, you know, like they trade back and forth, but like some of these, like right here, like the Christmas ones, the winter ones, um, they both have, like I have two of them, so, and there's all of her hair bands, and then the changing table up here has this little animal pictures above it, and then the little bins underneath, there's a little giraffe, mommy has a little thing, I like the little baby giraffes, what they look like, so there's a little baby giraffe rattle and this is in her closet which I also did not clean before I took this video so 
this is just really what her closet always looks like. All of her stuff just stuck up there. She obviously got a lot of clothes as hand-me-downs from her sister. So they go all the way to the back. Back there you can see. And we have these closet organizers. Isabella handed these down to her as well. I really, really love these. They have like three to six months on them. And then I have one back here, six to 12 months. They work really, really great to separate out your clothes. Especially when you have a new baby, you know you're getting so many gifts and some people get you bigger sizes and that sort of thing. So they're really great to separate everything and out and find sizes quickly. And then we just have our boxes for our Ergo down there. Lots of extra clothes down there. Um, extra bibs. Let's see, our old diaper bag is down there on the floor. And then I used to have this green organizer that's here in the corner. I used to have that right in the center of Isabella's closet. But she had like a closet at her old house where it didn't have like a regular door on it like this one does. It was like one of those closets where the doors like swung open and you could get into the whole closet um, from the front of it. So I felt like that kind of took up too much space with one of these closets where you have to kind of like reach around the corner. So I tried to get most of Natalie's clothes like right in the center. Like so this is the section that we use most often. And right now she is in three to six month sizes and can still fit like some of these newborn like zero to three things right now too. So these are the clothes that she uses all the time and then this just has like her towels for her bath, extra bibs and stuff like that. So that's stuff that we don't necessarily need to get out as much as her clothes or if I need to get at it I can obviously just reach around the corner. It's pretty easy to get to. So that is everything that's in her closet. So thanks for watching our first mommy vlogging episode and this has been Meet Natalie in her five month update and hopefully I will be more polished whenever we try more of these in the future but um, I just wanted to go ahead and get started and make sure I did this right around the time that she was five months. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.